This is Tamara from MooglyBlog.com, and in this video, I'm demonstrating how to crochet the Neapolitan Twist Cowl, which is a free pattern you'll find on MooglyBlog.com. Please go to the link in the description where you will find both right and left-handed video tutorials, a link to the written pattern, and links to all the supplies you need. To make this pattern, I used Red Heart Roll With It Tweed and Red Heart Huga Fur. I used one color of the Red Heart Roll With It Tweed and three different colors of the Huga Fur. Not the ones shown here today, um, but in the Roll With It Tweed, I used the Cloudy Day colorway, which I have a little bit left over of right here, you can see, that I'll be demoing with. And then I used the Cottontail, the Sienna, and the smoky colors of the Huga Fur. I just have partial balls of those, so I will be using them to demo with, and you can see them here in the finished product. Now this is a very, very simple pattern. It's all single crochets with these yarns held together, and then at the end, it's a simple seam that seams it all up. Otherwise, you're just working straight in single crochet rows with two yarns held together. Now besides that yarn, you will need a hook. I used a USL 8mm. This one is by Furls. You'll also, of course, need scissors and a yarn needle. So let's go ahead and get started with the Neapolitan Twist Cowl. Now, you can see here that by holding these yarns together, you get a really great depth of color with these yarns. Now, we start with the Roll With It Tweed and the Huga Fur in the white or whatever color you want to use first, and we just crochet some straight rows of single crochet, then switch to the pink or sienna color, and finally the brown, and then we've got straight seams here that are just sewn together here. You can see a little bit on the inside it's actually really hard to find the seam. There we go. That right there was the seam where they're sewn together. It's actually very, very simple, so I'm going to go ahead and demo it for you now. Now, in the original, I did start with the white color held with the Roll With It Tweed uh, to begin the pattern, but for demo purposes, I'm going to use the pink here because it's a little bit easier to see against our white background. So if you haven't worked with two yarns held together before, it just means you take the ends of both yarns, hold them together, and then crochet with them as if they were one yarn. So you do need to watch as you make your stitches to make sure that you're grabbing both of those yarns with your hook. So to begin, we just hold our yarns together and make our slip knot the way we usually do. Get the hook in there, however you like to make your slip knot. Again, just make sure both of those yarns are around your hook. And then we're going to go ahead and chain 24. That is for a 10 inch wide cowl. Now, the great thing about this pattern is that there's not really a specific row or stitch count needed to make it work. It's just to make the size I made. So if you want to make a different size, if you want it narrower or wider, you can totally change the stitch count here to whatever you like. Basically, you're just chaining one more than the number of single crochets you'll have working back across. So I'm going to go ahead and stop there for the purposes of demonstration. And then here, I really like to work under the back humps of those stitches. You can see by holding these two yarns together, it's a lot easier to see those stitches than if it was just the fur. That's one of the reasons I also really love working with these yarns held together. So I'm going to skip the one closest to the hook and simply single crochet under each of the stitches after that. Again, you want to make sure your hook goes under both of those yarns and that you aren't yarn over with both of those yarns as you make your stitches. But other than that, it's simply single crochet. So you work under each stitch and make a single crochet all the way across. A single crochet, of course, is insert your hook in the stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two to finish the stitch. So at the end of row one, and indeed each row of the pattern, you should have 23 stitches, or one less than however many you chained. So I will see you at the end of row one. Okay, so at the end of row one, you should have 23 single crochets, and it should be about 10 inches wide. If it's not perfectly 10 inches and you're happy with the width, that's okay. This is a cowl, it doesn't have to fit exactly to the dimensions I made it, so you can change that up or go with it, whatever works for you. Now rows two through 28 are simply going to be chain one and single crochet all the way across. Like I said, this is a very simple pattern. Working into those chains with these two colors is a little trickier than working into the stitches. I find after this, it really flows quite easily, and you can really use the Roll With It Tweed, that solid, uh, more smooth yarn, to help you see each of those stitches as you work across. So after 28 rows, then you change colors of just the fur and work another 28 rows uh, with the Roll With It Tweed and the other color of fur, and then finally you change colors again. So as soon as I get to the end of this row, I'll demonstrate how to do that color change nice and smoothly, and then we'll be ready to demonstrate the assembly of the finished product. 
Okay, so when you get to the end of a row where you're ready to change colors, we're just going to switch the Huga fur color. We're going to keep working with the roll with it tweed. So what you want to do is go ahead and separate those. Pull the Huga you've been using out of the way here a little bit. Take that new color of Huga that you want to switch to. And I like to just lay it right along the strand I was using before and sort of hold that with the, the fingers of my hook hand that I am not using for the hook. And then at the other end here, and gather my now working yarn of the Red Heart Roll With It Tweed and the new color of Huga Fur and simply yarn over and pull through with those colors together and I'm ready to start my next row and my next section of color. Then the instructions, like I say, are just the same. Chain one and single crochet back on across the row. And of course, at this point, you can go ahead and cut that first color so it doesn't want to get tangled up in your yarn and get that set aside. And then you just continue crocheting. Each color section is about 10 inches long as written. Again, if you'd like a longer cowl, you can just add more rows, but otherwise you just make about 10 inches of each color section. You've got your three colors and it's time for assembly. Okay, so I just have a small swatch here to demonstrate our assembly, but the technique is very simple. I have cut off my final end here. I actually made this one starting with the brown on this little swatch. And when I cut off my ends, I cut left about six inches of the fur to weave in, but about 20 inches on the full size one of the Roll With It Tweed, our nice smooth yarn. We're going to use this one for seaming. It's just a lot easier to sew with. This end will simply weave in. So when we've got it all made, we just lay it out flat. There's no right or wrong side since it's all single crochet, so that part doesn't matter. And then what you're going to do is fold these two ends in together a little bit here. There we are. And then we're going to fold both of these ends over just like this. I don't even know the words properly to describe it. Sort of pinch them together like little like little mouths that are talking to each other, I guess. And then we're going to slide those together, sort of sandwich them right there. So I guess they're sort of biting each other and just line them up so that they're nice and straight along those edges. Now, of course, you're going to have a much wider cowl if you follow the instructions. So you're going to have a lot more space here to sew but you get the idea. Hopefully you can see the dark color down there and then the pink and then the brown and then the pink so it's all lined up. At this point, if you want to, you can use stitch markers to sort of hold that together, but otherwise you're just going to take that end. Let me go ahead and get my yarn needle here. I'll have to put this down and gather it back up. I should have probably put my yarn needle on there first. There we go. So like I said, you can use stitch markers to hold it together if you want to, but really all you're going to do at this point is take that end and you want to sew through all four layers. So I'll start here at the top and I'll just go there, make sure I catch that brown, catch a little bit there of that edge of the pink, and then go down through the brown again, just like so, and pull that all the way through. And then just hop over a little bit. You can really totally eyeball this one. You will not be able to see this seam in the finished product. So, you know, don't have to worry about making sure you go through, you know, each stitch or anything like that. You just want to make sure that you are catching all those layers. Sometimes they want to hide in there, so I'll actually use my needle to sort of dig that out and sew right through it. But otherwise, you just sew back and forth right through all those four layers until they're nice and secured. After that, all you have to do is open it up and flip it wrong side out. So let's go ahead and take one more look at the Neapolitan Twist Cowl. Okay, so once more, here you can see the seam on the original. You can see here's where I folded the white end, here's where I folded the brown end. I sandwiched them together, sewed through all those, and then you open it up and just turn it right side out. Again, it doesn't matter which side you started from because they're both the same, but now this is officially the right side. And that is the finished Neapolitan Twist Cowl. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you'll give the pattern a try. Again, please go to the link in the description so you can see both right and left-handed video tutorials in case you landed on the wrong one here. And then also, if you scroll down a little bit from there, there will be a link to the written pattern as well as all the supplies you need and any other tutorials that I think might help you with this pattern. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Moogly Blog YouTube channel and have a great day, everybody.